Hey folks, welcome back. So we're here at my house uh, and we're gonna fly to more aviation today. Um, the weather's perfect today. Well, it's 17 degrees right now, but hopefully it's gonna get in the 30s. Um, but a perfect day to fly, no winds. Um, the sky is perfectly clear, 12,000 feet and higher, um, all the way up, way up to flight levels. And uh, we're gonna have no problem flying out to more aviation. It's over, just over 50 nautical miles, so it's just a, long, a cross country flight. And we're going to make a decision today on what I'm going to do with my panel, whether it's Dynon, whether it's Garmin. I've done all my research over and over again through my head, and today's a day that I make a decision. So stick around, and let's see what I come up with. Okay, folks, well, we made it to Orange County, and I'm going to get the plane set up, um, put the cameras on the airplane, do my walk around, check everything out, and then up in it, and you know it goes on after that. See you guys in a few. Hey folks, welcome back. So, we're here at Orange County like usual, my home base, and we're going to fly over to Mount Pocono Airport. Uh, the reason being is today I'm going to make a decision what I'm doing with the panel. Um, I, I've been saying it for a while now that I've been saving for quite a few years, um, probably about five o'clock high, less than one mile climbing. Thank you, that's the aircraft taking off on runway four here. Um, so for about four years or so, I've been saving for uh, a panel of some sort in my future of my aviation dream here. And now's the time to make that uh, decision. I went over a bunch of stuff in Garmin and Avidyne, uh products, Garmin products, Dynon products, a new company that basically has been in the been in the experimental business for many, 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 many years. Um, and just got into certified aircraft about three, four years ago, Dynon, so um, don't quote me on that. But so I'm going to Mount Pocono, they install um, that Dynon product and they install a couple other products uh, that I was also looking at. So, I'm going to make my decision today and get it over with and figure it out. The plane will be down for about a month, which is not bad. Uh, Motor Aviation is a really, really good company. It's a, it's basically almost a seven-day week job for those guys up there, and they work and they get things done. Uh, so, I have no problem doing my business with them whatsoever. Do my annuals every year, too. I'm going to set up here. Um, go direct to Mount Pocono. Mike Papa Oscar is the identifier. I had this plane for three years already. How fast that time went, and I put majority of the hours on the engine prop. The prop, I believe, had like 17 hours on it when I uh, got her, and a couple hundred hours on the engine since major overhaul. And she runs really good. So I'm going to do the checklist. Get that out of the way. I did do the walk around. Everything was perfect. Um, and I'll be right back. Are you guys. Okay, checklist is complete. And we were going to put that over here. I also forgot to tell you guys is um, uh, in my house it was 16 degrees this morning. Getting up there now. Um, 
and I keep the plane covered and plugged in. So I have all the cylinders wrapped. Well, it came with the airplane when I bought it. But all the cylinders are wrapped, and the oil pan has a pad on that, and I keep it plugged in and covered. Uh, and you know, I don't even have to wait the 45 minutes, 40 minutes to, you know, put the heater on, let it blow up in the engine, and mess around with the propane and, and whatever else you mess around with. Um, but I plug it in, and I get in the plane, and as soon as I start it, it's just about in the green already for a cylinder temperature. And the oil temperature is just right before the green. Uh, so I don't have to mess around by waiting 40 minutes to preheat the engine. Because um, you should preheat it, obviously, if it's you know, really below 30 degrees or so. They say it's everybody has a different opinion on that. But 17 degrees this morning, it was cold, and everything was cold. So I put a little heater in here. Uh, not all the time. Also, so everything stays nice and warm. So I don't have to mess around, for, you know, basically an hour messing around with it. Which is good. Let's get the weather here. Celsius. Altimeter 3047. Remarks. Density altitude minus 3000. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation 1428 Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature minus 08 Celsius. Dew point minus 10 Celsius. Altimeter 3047. Remarks. Density altitude minus. Okay, got that. Going to Mount Pocono. We'll put that in direct. Go into four flight. Love the four flight. Mount Pocono is where we're going. Uh, so we'll go direct to KMPO. And that's going to be direct. Um, 55 nautical miles, not too bad. They go into Columbia County. I'll go up to 4,500. I, I already checked for no TAMS. Weather is perfect. Um, runway is clear. No ice and snow on the runway. Do a system check. System test passed. Okay, system check is good. She is warming up nicely. All right, we're ready to go. Let's see what runway we're going to be anticipating to use with the uh, weather. That one's not available, so we'll check it up in the air and we'll check it out. Okay. There was a lot of people in the pattern this morning. They probably went away because it's so beautiful out today. It's a little cold, but the heater works good. I'm going to use four. We're on Alpha 1. I got Alpha 1, 2, and 3. I wish they had one more between Alpha 1 and 2. Or between one. But they don't. Or between Alpha 2 and 3. I wish they had one more. Okay, so we're good to go. We have flaps 15. We are trim for takeoff. Mixture's coming in now. Full rich. Props full forward. Carpet is in, as indicated here. Uh, we're going to do full power. The landing lights coming on. Strobes are coming on. And we don't need any um, positioning lights on right now. We're good to go. Traffic. Uh, anybody uh, short base final for four hours? Right. And Orange County traffic. Uh, moving November six eight eight. Seven November taking active four for departure. Orange County. All right. So we're all good to go. Fuel pump is now on. I am on the fuel fullest tank. I'm gonna line up. We'll check the directional gyro one more time. Make sure we're all set. Lining for four. We got three coming around to four, and we're on four, and we can go. We're good to go. Doors are locked. Okay, power slowly. Put the power in. All right, full power is it? 
Everything's in the green. We're going to continue. Green, green, 70, rotate. We're still in the green. Continue. And nothing away. The Johnson Bar gear is coming up. And hand back on the throttle. Five over. Photos flaps up. And Orange County traffic. We left crosswind four. Orange County. And we're going to trim down a little bit. Thousand feet per minute. The air is so thick. Good flight following out there. All right, pull the power back. Hey. That's Orange County traffic. Uh, we need to partner in pattern to the west of Orange County. See you later. Okay, fuel pump's coming off. Everything's in the green, we're good to go and continue. New York, good morning. Uh, Mooney, November 6887, November request. Stand by. 967 Alpha Sierra, contact New York Approach, 120.8. 20.8, let's see you. Okay. New York, good morning. Starts over 84023, New York Approach. Stewart altimeter 3047. Nice and warm, the heat's kicking up pretty good. So you always want to keep an eye out for any type of signs of carb ice. don't necessarily have to have moisture to have carb ice on a very cold morning or cold day. It could pick it up a little bit. So we keep an eye out on the manifold pressure, RPMs, make sure we're all going to be okay. Pull the power back a little more on the RPMs. Easy on the cables. We've got some smokestacks down there going straight up, so the wind is calm for sure. Four thousand five hundred, six hundred feet to go. I just told me to stand by, so we'll stand by a little longer and try to call back. Or we, won't, we just won't use uh, flight following this morning. Okay, we're going to start leveling off. Nose down a little bit. And a 260 heading, it is odds. Our evens plus fives, BFR. So 4,500 will stay here. We'll be there very shortly. I burn up some gas because when I do bring it in for the anal, they gotta drain both the tanks to uh, 
for the fuel analyzer for my gauges, because it's going to be digital fuel uh, fuel flow and uh, approach. Good morning, Coast Guard officer. Eight and is checking in level. And eight amount of fuel I have on board. So I'm going to drain the tanks, and calibrate everything. So it's pretty much accurate up to a gallon. Mike, New York approach. Stewart altimeter three zero four seven. Maintain VFR. Advise of any altitude changes. Four seven. World coast. Approach, uh, 8 Mike, we have to trust passing power ride, no factors, make any business. 8 one Mike, roger, thank you. I got no traffic in my area. So the good thing with this plane is that the previous owner, they did the whole interior, um, and instead of putting the, uh, the old, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, insulation back in, um, or buying new insulation, put a new insulation in, they put this noise canceling uh, type insulation around the whole cockpit area. Um, and it, it does a good job of the noise, and it does a good job also of the keeping the heat in the airplane. So I never really have an issue of freezing um, up here. The outside temperature is 39 degrees up this high. So we're all looking good. We'll see if we can fix her out a little bit. It's a little cranky, and we'll do a turn and a half. Perfect. Now, with this, the pain, what do I do? Obviously, today, uh, I can get the mixture down to a science uh, once I have that, 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 we have that instrument, site. the gauge, so I can know what, what peak I'm at, what cylinders are at what. So right now, it's basically, I'm just Clear visual cleaning it, so it gets kind of cranky, I'm putting a turn and a half in it, and that's what I usually do. So we're looking good. Prima 4835, contact tower 1210, good day. 1210, Prima 4835, see ya. I get questions on the Johnson bar too, uh, just to just to kind of let you guys in on a little secret here. If you do, looking at a Mooney that has a Johnson bar, it's really cool because you don't have to worry about uh, how many cycles your, um, your electric uh, motor had on the uh, landing gear or if it overhauled, it was not going to work. But it's easy to put up and down, and you can guarantee it's not going to fail on you. Cut across my fingers. But uh, yeah, it, it's the little secret is it's very it's much easier to put the gear up when you're under 80 miles per hour uh, or 70 knots or uh, 90 uh, 70 knots ish, and it's a lot easier. Now, if you're putting it up, and they have you know a couple thousand feet runway left, and you have an issue, uh, you could easily put it right back down. Like, no problem. Faster than an electric gear can, can put it down. Uh, so that's why I typically put it up before I run out of runway, is because it's difficult to get it locked into the bracket when you're going that fast. So I guess it's just physics. But other than that, um, it's great having, a, I believe, you know, everybody has their own opinion, pretty nice having a manual gear. No AD on that, uh, so it's one less headache you got to worry about. So I already see the ridge line, or I know the Pocono Airport even is. Uh, we're 41 nautical miles away. So if I didn't get New York, we're not going to bother them with flight following. We're 30, 40 nautical miles there. It's a clear sky today. Um, just over, just over, right over Huguenot, VOR. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye out for traffic. So I'm going to be out of the way of the jets anyway. Uh, they typically hit this VOR at 5,000 going into uh, the city. There's High Point. Got plenty of fuel. We got four and a half hours of fuel. I got to use some. Uh, this plane will go in the annual in a few weeks. Two Delta Sierra contacting your approach, 124.07, good day. 124.07, thank you. We're going to keep the York approach, we're going to listen to them, but we're also going to go to information frequency, we're going to put in the Unicom and see what's going on, what they're using over there at Mount Pocono. They do have a flight school, so maybe they're using it. 
Uh, put that in the standby frequency, and then we'll go back over and we'll monitor both channels and see if we hear what's going on Mount Pocono. But beautiful morning. I don't mind flying when it's cold. Uh, flying when it's really hot, ugh. That could be rough sometimes, to be honest. Yeah, looking good. Flying over Matamoros, that's Pennsylvania. Uh, Port Jervis, that's New York. And right over this area, for, uh, maybe like, yeah, you guys can't really see it uh, with the camera angles. Uh, but New York, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey meet to our left. I also get questions of the Mooney. I should try to do a YouTube Live once and not do a uh, question and answer type thing. Um, but I do get a, a lot of good questions. And it's, it's and I email everybody back, pilotfun 11 at gmail.com, um, if you guys have any questions, Mooney questions. I don't know the Mooney answer or question or airplane question. Um, I'll get the information for you. Um, it's, just, it's a room size. Um, you're going to lose a little room in the Mooney but you gain it up in efficiency and speed, um, or you get you get like you know Comanche 180, 250, uh, which is a little bigger, obviously, um, or approached, Piper Piper Archers, Arrows, or retra Arrows retractable gear. Um, but you know they're a little bit more bigger inside, um, but you'll you lose you'll lose some speed and some efficiency. Three, let me know when you get the tips in sight. Um, so you know you got to take all that into consideration. Um, we were doing your airplane, because it's your airplane, and that's what I do, I was looking, I was looking for my friends to be flying with me for a room, I was looking for, for my beneficial, to benefit me, I should say, and I, I had this plane for three years, and I love it, I love it how I can go up and not worry about how much gas I'm burning, um, the maintenance on it, the efficiency of it, it's, it's reliable, uh, Mooney did a good job putting these together. It's a shame they can't bring that price down a little bit more, you know, a little bit less than 800000 for a new one. Um, because I think they're missing the boat with a lot of GA pilots who have the money to do it, but rather look at other stuff that has more room, that has more uh, uh, weight you can carry, uh, and all that fun stuff. Uh, so I think uh, Mooney is missing the boat uh, on, that, on their price point, what they're trying to do. And uh, they can just lower it a little bit, I think you'll get more bites on a Mooney. But they're still the most efficient plane out there. Uh, the fastest piston airplane, certified airplane out there. So, uh, definitely, I, now, now, don't, don't get me wrong, I do get four people in here. There's some videos, I, I don't know if I had friends all in here before, but I've had four people in here, no problem, flying a couple hours or more, and it's not a problem. You put, some, you put both of the seats up, they get room in the back. I'm six foot, and I don't have an issue um, with anything, so I'm fine with this airplane. You can get the 201. The 201 gives you 20 more horsepower, um, and it gives you, I think, another six inches or so for the back passenger. I'm not 100% sure on the exact, but five, six inches. Um, but they're paying more money for it, burns a little more fuel, uh, so you got to take everything into consideration what you're going to do. And in this, you know, they're, they're only about six, seven knots faster than this one, so it's not crazy. Lehman Julia near departure, they skip sail turn three. We're 20 nautical miles away, um, and today's a day to decide what I'm going to do. Like I said before. It's a little, I did so much research, folks, so much research on Garmin and Avidyne and Dion uh, and a couple of other stuff that's out there. Or it is, or I just say, you know what, forget it, keep this panel. New York approach, but, you three, three, eight, kilo Charlie with you, 5,000. I know. <laughs> I hear you. Three, three, eight, Trust me. Approach, I hear you. Let me know when you get the... Uh, well, folks, hey, listen, you only live once. 
Okay, you work hard. Do what you have to do. Okay, thank you, Senior Director. And, uh, you know, anything you want, you can get. And you just work hard to get for it, and that's what I've done a lot of time. And I believe that, you know, it's time for me to get something nice for myself besides the airplane. Work, you know, I worked, a, you know, many, many years, many, many years of saving for stuff. I don't buy things on, on loan or, you know, I just try to save up for it. Um, or I sell a couple things and then I can afford to buy stuff. But I think it's time for me to, to pull the trigger and get what I want. Um, like I said before, I put majority of the hours on the plane. The prop had 17 hours on it uh, when I bought it. The engine had a couple hundred hours on it. The interior was done. Uh, it's, it's got many speed mods on it. Uh, so I know the airplane in and out. I know what it smells like, sounds like. I know what it does, what it can't do. And I don't think I'm going to go anywhere else. I think I'm going to stick with this airplane for, for a long time. Um, and I got a good price for it with, the, with all the equipment in it. I'm going to sell, if I do do this, I'm going to sell the 480 with the tray, you know, with the VOR. I'm going to sell, you know, a couple things off this panel that I'll get some money back. So I'm not going to spend that much money out of pocket. And that's why I'm thinking Dion, because it's so much cheaper than Garmin. And, you know, when you do the research, you look at it. When you certify an instrument, you certify a glass panel, you know, it has to go through the same process as Garmin goes through. It has to go through the same process as any other manufacturer has to go through with certification process with the FAA. So, you know, they're not selling a non-certified junk unit's gonna, gonna fall apart. They have to, they have guidelines they have to follow and certification they have to follow with insurance to make sure that, that that's not going to fail. Um, and Zion and other manufacturers go through the same process as Garmin. I know everybody says Garmin, 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 but Garmin doesn't have a lot of skin in the game anymore with GA pilots. I think, I believe that they're really pushing themselves too far, too high for people like myself. And there's a lot of people like myself out there who don't make a lot of money, who, who you know, uh, but are able to be able to fly and have a good time, they're missing a boat on people like me. Because the Dion system is certified, so why would I spend a lot more for a Garmin? Now, Garmin is starting to come out a little cheaper stuff, but it's almost too late uh, for that. So, it's, again, it's, it's like you, you go to ShopRite, and you look at a Campbell Soup brand, the name brand, and it's a dollar a can, I'm just saying for example here, and you go to the, the ShopRite's brand, and it's 50 cents a can. You turn the can around, you look at all the ingredients, it's the same exact thing. But you're paying for that Campbell name, and you're not paying for the ShopRite name. So it's the same thing with this product. If you're going to buy a Garmin, that's a, don't get me wrong, folks, Garmin's a great, great company, great product. They've been around for a long time with everything, not just aviation, but cars and, and uh, boats and so on and so forth, it's hiking. Uh, you know, uh, handheld units for hiking. But I'm not knocking them at all. A good company. But why should I buy Campbell Soup when I can buy ShopRite Soup for basically half the money and have the same exact outcome of it? So. Alright, so we've got 20 nautical miles out. We'll start slowing her down a little bit. Now, that's a little bit at a time. You don't want to sh cool shock the engine. Pull the carpet out a little bit. It's a little. It's a little bit of a, a little bit of a rough. Well, just in case, no, no reason not to pull the carpet out if you feel like it's giving you a little bit of a problem. All right, so we're gonna switch over to um, MPO frequency now. One two two point seven. That over. Let's get the weather out there too. And the four flight app tells you one twenty two seven five. Three one zero at zero four. Oh, one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature minus zero seven Celsius. Dew point minus one one Celsius. Altimeter three zero three six. Remarks. Density altitude minus seven hundred. Mount Pocono, Pocono Mountains Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation, one, four, and five, two, we get the field elevation, wind, three, traffic pattern, at zero, four. 
visibility one zero. 1915, so 29 uh, is the pattern altitude. Dew point minus one one Celsius. Altimeter three zero three six. Remarks. Density altitude minus so 2900. I was at a thousand. Mount Pocono, Pocono Mountains Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation one four five three Zulu. Wind three two zero at zero four. Visibility one zero. Sky condition. All right, we got the weather. We're going to use we're going to use a bit of procedure. We're going to traffic pattern. We're going to use runway five, and then we'll do forty five. Add to the route, close it out, and it'll give you the lines for you to do all that fun stuff on the four point app here. Is left traffic for five. We're baiting in the pattern. Ocean cat. Down to that. The RPM is waving a little bit. Push your counter to the RPM. Romeo is left face runway 6. Full stop, uh, stipulated inch down. Push your counter. Like I said, when it's this cold out, and there's you know some moisture in the air here, you keep an eye on that. You don't want to you want to get ahead of the car bice incident. And if you do get it pretty heavy, pull the car pee all the way out. And I, I don't you know like I said I'm not uh, gonna tell you what to do here. This is just for you know entertainment for myself and for you guys hopefully. But when you pull the car pee out, it might run rough for a while. So don't right away think you have an engine failure. Um, you know you can start you know you know. Anticipating the runway, uh, an air closest airport, and do that. But pull that, let it let it run through for a while. It's going to clear itself out if it's a car bice issue. Okay, so we're looking good. Put the lane light on. So gas, not yet. Undercarriage, not yet. We're going to slow down a little bit more here. Tokyo traffic, uh, Mooney November 688, 10 November is about nine miles out uh, to the east. The inbound for five. Tokyo. One two two seven. We're good. See, it smoothed right. It smoothed it out. The RPMs is not wavering up or down a little bit. It was going down a little bit. Um, so it's now it's it's pretty much right where I need it to be, 24. So I'll put the car pee back in. So now there's no car pee on. And uh, yeah, she's doing good. I think it might be a little bit getting icy. Airport's in sight. The fourth flight app here, it draws that line. It tells you to 45, and for very good situation awareness, um, all this technology is at our literally at our fingertips here, <laughs> right? Getting kind of nervous. Getting kind of nervous on this big decision I'm going to make this morning on what I'm going to do. Alright, we're going to continue our descent.
runways look clear. I called this morning. They are clear. They had some snow, but it, the sun came out and it melted pretty quickly. Um, but hey, no, no issue with the RPM. Staying right where it needs to be. Ocean County traffic, Skyhawk, six miles to the northeast at 2,500 feet, inbound to land, runway 32, Ocean County traffic. And now Pocono traffic, uh, Mooney 8th of November is uh, about four miles out now to the east. We're going to downwind for five. Left traffic, not Pocono. Okay, slow her down a pigeon, a smidgen more. Nice. Couple hundred RPMs per minute or two. Pull her down nice and slow. Just don't, you know, if you're at high RPM or you're flying in the cold, just don't yank the power all the way back. You could uh, cold shock the engine. That'll cost you a lot of money. Now, Pocono traffic, uh, Mooney is left downwind now for uh, five. Be a full stop. Now, Pocono. Okay. Pull up a little bit. Let's get that airspeed, bleed that airspeed off. Okay, we're at gear speed, 125 miles per hour. Nothing's in the way. Here is coming down. On now, five and a half miles west of the field. Going to come in. Uh, okay, that's locked in. You heard that click. And then we're going to put in. Uh, a right down wind runway 28, Heritage. Three notches and flaps. And pull the power back a little more. Okay. Now. So gas is on, undercarriage, mixers full rich, props coming in now full forward. Watch our speed, we're on the, still on the fullest. Traffic, Skyhawk, overflying the mid, overflying the 50,000, uh, it's going to do a 45 degree down, runway 32 from the west. And Mount Pocono traffic, uh, Moody's midfield left downward for five, Mount Pocono. Okay, gas is on. Undercarriage is locked. Make sure full width, props full forward. We're watch our speed. We're gonna put full flaps in now. Trim up. We got my seatbelt on. Heritage traffic. So Everything's in the green. Miles west of the field. Coming in uh, on a right downwind runway. Two way heritage. Mount Pocono traffic, uh, Mooney 8 November is left base now for five. Mount Pocono, be a full stop. Watch our speed. Okay, gas, undercarriage, mixture prop, speed, fuel's on, we're on the fullest tank, and we're at 90 miles an hour. Turn this nice turnout here. Little bumps like always. We'll power back. And Mount Pocono traffic, uh, Mooney's final for five, full stop, Mount Pocono. There is traffic, put on down the downwind, runway 28 here. Okay, 80 miles an hour. Mount Pocono traffic, Piper 28, 7 Victor Tango, holding short on 2 3 for traffic inside, no factor. Some ice spots on the runway, so be careful on the braking. Do a little slip here, get it down a little faster. Okay, hey, gear, when we're looking at gear, green light is on, gear is locked. All right.
right. Any breaks yet? Little breaks at a time. All right, Carpy going right back in. I pull the mixture out a little bit. Perfect. Oh, here we are, Mount Pocono, folks. Laps up, we'll clean her up a little bit. Fuel pump's coming off. And now Pocono traffic, I'm going to clear five. So here we are, Mount Pocono Airport, Pocono Mountain Airport, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to see Kurt from Warner Aviation. We're going to see what we come up with today. And I'll let you guys know. So folks, again, thank you for flying along. I appreciate that. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel. And you can also follow me on Facebook at PilotFilm101 at, uh, not gmail.com, but <laughs> PilotFilm101 on Facebook. I have almost 13,000 now followers on Facebook. Thank you for that. Um, and if you have any questions, email me, PilotFilm101 at gmail.com. Next time, folks, fly safe, be safe. See ya.